Welcome back to our channel. Hi, socialists. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Carol. And I'm Angie. Oh, what's the next line that you always say? Welcome back to socialists. Okay, welcome back. <laughs> Obviously, episode 20, guys. We made it to episode 20. I don't know. We made it. That's why, like, oh, it's a milestone. So I decided I will uh, intro today, which I did a very terrible job. I on. think you did a great job. Okay. Yeah. So on today's very very special episode, we are bringing you very quick fire tips on social media. So as with our 20th episode, we are giving you 20 tips. Yeah, 20. So what type of tips are we giving them today, Carol? Quick nips. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Wrong. Yeah, but it's mainly tips that we have decided are the best practices to have on social media and this comes from years of experience and also from things that we discovered recently so while we give you um, 20 tips um, it will be categorized accordingly I'm very serious today mm -hmm. so categorized into four and basically each one of us gets two categories and the other one gets to work out so you'll only see four workouts um, for this video so until the person stops talking or finishes her set of tips the person will just continue doing the workout that he 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 he, he, he is assigned to <laughs> So yeah, before we get into today's episode, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us on Instagram at Social Hits. And I'm not ready to work out. I've, I have at least you've been working out for the past days. I haven't been working out. Yay! So don't forget to work out, guys. It's very good for you. Yes, and also don't forget to work out with us. And let's get started. Okay, game. So, here is episode 20, 20 social media tips based on best practices that Angie and I have had since we started doing social media work, and I will first focus on content. First of all, don't forget, at the end of the day, all postings are your brand, so don't forget your logo placement. Make sure it's just consistent so that you're not just like putting your logos everywhere. Next, avoid getting too text heavy. Even though Facebook already lifted their whole like text rule, just make sure not to be too text heavy because no one reads all the text anymore. So make sure to just focus on your visuals. Next, have a clear CTA or call to action. So whether it be you know, liking your page, commenting, or going to your website, make sure your CTA or call to action is clear. Next, post timing. Don't just post at any time of the day. Make sure to check when your audiences, your followers are most active because that is the best time to post so that people will engage. And lastly, use trends. So you can use so many trend um, awareness po uh, posting platforms like Twitter, see what is trending and also see what festive occasions are trending so that people will relate to your content. I am done. Next! Oh my god! Oh my god! <sighs> okay, next tips is all about crisis. So when a crisis occurs, what do you need to have in place? First and foremost, the most important is to make sure that you have a crisis framework that you have built and you have to put and that you put in place to be prepared for a crisis. Next, once you have the framework in, um, it's very important to make sure that you also create an escalation process. So, what the escalation process does is it allows you to see where and what actions you need to take when a crisis occurs and also makes you be prepared for a crisis when it happens. Next point, so in an event that the crisis actually happened, what do you need to do? You probably also need to make sure that you create a statement. And what happens? What parties do you need to include when you are creating this statement to put out into your social media platforms when a crisis occurs? And the next is, let's say the crisis is like of a global proportion or it has gone very, very viral. What do you need to do? Well, do you need to consider having like a blackout on your social media platforms? Because that would also show your solidarity with your fans and to also show that you are in a mourning period with them as well. And final point is to make sure that you are always updating all parties. So when we talk about all parties, it would not only be the people who you are working with, the brands, your fans, um, people online, um, the authorities, maybe your PR, your legal, so you need to make sure that everyone is kept in the loop when a crisis occurs 
so that you're not only prepared, you know how to get out of that crisis. Okay, I'm done. Ow! Ah, okay, shoot, that was 45 squats. Okay, next, community or community management. <laughs> Make sure to have a designated response time or response rate. So ideally, you should be responding within 24 hours, but currently now, um, I just came from a social bakers webinar. People are now expecting for you to reply within one hour. So that's tough. Okay, so just make sure to be consistent with your response time. Next, tone of voice. Of course, your tone of voice has to match with your brand. So you have to be, of course, um, if you're a serious brand, then be serious in your tone of voice and calm management as well. But then if you're a casual one, then again, match it. <laughs> Engage in conversation. Don't just focus on your DMs or your private messages. It's also very important to focus on your comments so that people see that you're engaging with them and you're not just doing a, a one-way type of conversation. Next, of course, be polite. There are some trolls out there. There are some people who are going to complain and they're, they're going to be nasty. But that doesn't give you an excuse to be nasty. So make sure to always be polite and respectful when doing home management. And lastly, <laughs> to just help you in making your calm management more efficient and effective, make sure to have FAQs or frequently asked questions so that whoever your calm manager is or community manager is can just look into your FAQs and respond as quick as possible. There you go. Next. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, last one campaigns. So now, when you're planning your campaigns on your social media platforms, the most important, most, most, most important thing to take into consideration is your objectives. So what is the objective of you running your campaign? Is it sales-driven, awareness-driven, reach-driven, or loyalty-driven? Next thing to take into consideration is your budget. So what is the budget that you are going to put forth for your campaign? So let's say for example, if you have different objectives, maybe that will be different budgets that you will put in place or different weightage of the budgets that you will also uh, plan out for that particular campaign. Oh my god! Woo. Okay, next point, timeline. So when planning your campaign as well, it is also very very important that you have a timeline in place. Now the timeline serves a lot of purpose, not just a timeline of when your campaign goes live, but it also includes uh, let's say a production timeline, uh, it could be a teaser timeline and so on and so forth. So a timeline also gives you a very good idea of what needs to be done and when so that you know your campaign doesn't get delayed. Next. So it's also very important when you're planning a campaign, right? And nowadays on social media platforms, you have multiple and multiple platforms that you can uh, push your campaigns and your content towards. So it's also very, very important that you resize to fit those videos or content to those specific platforms so that it is also, uh, e what do you call that word? Sorry, it's easy for the users to also take into take in those content when you resize it. And final last point, very very important. Once your campaign is done, it's very very important that you run a post mortem analysis for your campaign just to make sure that you know you understand the results, the insights, and you can also change whatever it is that you learn to and apply that change to your next campaign. And I'm done. Ah! <sighs> Oh my god! I didn't think it would be that hard! Right? I also didn't expect it to be that hard. The sweat. <laughs> like, so yeah. Can you see that? Oh. This so, was a bad idea. It was. But 20th episode special. We hope that you guys enjoyed this little episode. Enjoyed watching us suffer. Um, oh. If you did. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. <laughs> you can follow us on Instagram. My mouth is so dry. I can't even talk properly. <laughs> My arms are. <laughs> and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye bye. <laughs>